Hey there, boys and girls. Today in math, we're going to talk about a new multiplication trick. So far, we've learned about zero the hero, one the mirror, two double trouble, five the skip count king, and yesterday we learned about ten the mighty. Today, we're going to learn about the number nine. And our saying for nine is nine knows tricks. So if you take a look at my screen, boys and girls, you're gonna see my number nine and he knows tricks. So let's take a look at our notebook page. For nines, um, these two notebook pages are actually gonna show you two different tricks. This first one though is the one that I prefer and this is the one that we're gonna use, but probably more than um, anything, but I will show you both. So it says nine knows tricks. So let's look, boys and girls, the finger trick. It says each finger equals a number. Put down the finger you are multiplying by. Count by tens till you reach that finger. Count by ones after that. So boys and girls, look at, look at the hands that are, on, uh, that are on the screen. If you notice, there is a number above each one of the fingers, even this one that's bent down into the hand. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just like if we were counting on our fingers. We can use our fingers to help us solve multiplication facts with the number nine in them. So here's what you do step by step. Look at the problem nine times six. And I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit because it's kind of small. And I'm gonna circle it because again, it's kind of small, but they have the problem nine times six. That's what they're modeling right here. So boys and girls put up all 10 of your fingers. Go ahead and put up all of your fingers on both hands. You know how to have 10 fingers up. Here's what the strategy is telling you to do. Because we're multiplying nine times six, it's asking you to put down your sixth finger. So if you look at the hands on my screen and you look at your hands, your sixth finger would be your thumb on your second hand. So go ahead and put that down. Now it says count by tens until you reach that finger. So boys and girls on this first, this full hand right here that we have, we're gonna count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay, we're gonna count by tens on that one and we get 50. So we have the number 50 and I'm just gonna write it right here too. It's in word form, but I'm gonna write it. Now on the hand where you have the six finger down, you're gonna count by ones. You're only gonna count the fingers that are still standing. One, two, three, four. So we get four. We're gonna combine those two numbers together, boys and girls, and we're gonna find that nine times six equals 54. So nine times six equals 54. Let's try the problems at the top. I'm gonna to turn my camera on so that way you can see my hands. So give me just a second and let me do that. Okay, boys and girls, our first number, let me turn my camera on here. I guess my other one's not gonna work. Okay, let me turn my camera on here. All right, our first one, boys and girls, over here is going to be nine times eight. So we're gonna hold up all 10 fingers. So go ahead and hold up both of your hands. Now remember, the way that we count this is we say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So since we're multiplying nine by the number eight, we're gonna put down our eighth finger. And this gets kind of tricky because this is a finger that's hard to keep down and keep the other ones up. But we're gonna try, <laughs> we're gonna try. Mrs. Haven has trouble with it, maybe you won't. So my fingers look a little funny here. So this one, my eighth finger is down. So what we need to do boys and girls is all of the fingers that are before my one that are that's down, we need to count by tens. So five or 10, 20, 30, 
40, 50, 60, 70. So we're going to put 70 as what's in our tens place. Now, looking at my fingers, I have two fingers that are still up. And I know this one looks kind of funny. I'll try to keep it. It just, I can't, for some reason, can't do it. So these two fingers are still up. So we count by ones by, with these two fingers. So one, two. So we have two. So our answer, we're going to put a two in the ones place. Our answer is 72. Let's do another one, nine times nine. So again, we're going to put up all 10 fingers. And here's our trick. Remember, nine knows tricks. So we have to, and this one's probably going to be even trickier. I'm just going to try to, so we have to put down our ninth finger. So see how I have one of my fingers down? So now everything that is before that ninth finger, boys and girls, I need to count by tens. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Okay, so I have 80 as my tens. Now let me try to get my fingers working back over here. So now I've got all of my fingers down except for this one. Here's my ninth finger. Remember, I don't count that one because it's down. Um, and then I need to count by ones with the fingers that are left after that finger that's down. And I just have one. So I'm going to put a one here in the ones place. And my answer is 81. Okay, let's do nine times six. So again, put up all 10 fingers. So here are all 10 of my fingers. And because we're multiplying nine times six, I'm going to put my sixth finger down. Remember, every finger that is before my finger that's down, is going to, we're going to count by tens. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So 50 is, is going to be my number in the tens place. Now I need to count by ones for all of mine that are left. One, two, three, four. I'm going to put 54. I really wrote way too big on those. Here, let me do this again. Because they're all running together. So this was 72, this was 81, this one was 54. Okay, now let's do, we've got two more. So let's do these. So again, we hold up all 10 fingers. Our multiplication sentence is nine times five. Because we're multiplying nine times five, we're gonna put down our fifth finger. Now remember, everything before our finger that's down, so all of these fingers, we're gonna count by tens. All of these fingers that are after our finger that's down are going to be ones. So let's start by counting with tens, 10, 20, 30, 40. So I'm gonna put a four in my tens place. Now I need to count by ones, one, two, three, four, five. So my number or my answer is going to be 45. Last one that we're gonna to practice together. Remember, all 10 fingers need to go up and then we look at the multiplication sentence, nine times two. We're gonna put down our second finger. And again, this is a finger that's hard to put down and keep the other ones up. So boys and girls, anything before the finger that's down, we put the second finger down because we're multiplying by two. Anything before the finger that sounds counted by, we count by tens. So we have one finger, so we've got 10. So I'm gonna put a one in the tens place here and it'll give my wrist a break because that's hurting my wrist. Okay, now put this back down. Now, anything on the other side of that down finger, we count by ones. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I would put an eight, nine times eight or nine times two, I'm sorry, is 18. Remember, it's a times two, so you could also use that double trouble trick where you just add nine plus nine. But since we're talking about the nines trick here, let's just go ahead and go for that. So boys and girls, there is another trick that they talk about. Um, I'm very hesitant to show this to you because I think it's gonna confuse you. So I think what I may do is do a separate video tomorrow to give you a quick introduction to it. This finger trick is really probably going to be the best one for you to use. So today you're gonna practice using that finger trick to answer, um, to answer multiplication sentences that are multiplied by nine. Before we do that though, let's do, well, 
nope, we're just gonna go straight into it because Mrs. Haven forgot to add the practice page in. So you are going to do nine nose tricks practice page, and then you're gonna do an IXL assignment that focuses on multiplying by nine. As always, if you have questions or you need help, please reach out to Mrs. Haven on Zoom.